David, how are you? How's it going? Uh, it's going really well. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, your your first knockout in a while is is, is it fair to say that's your like, your first clean like no referee involvement, just boom, walk away, knockout uh, of your of your long MMA career? Is that fair? I, I don't know if it was a boom, walk away. I mean, I just like it was just like uh, I've done that to people before. I had to follow up, you know, just to make yeah. sure that the job was done. Did it feel good? Did you enjoy it? We're doing that. Like, I mean, I just, I just felt good that to get my job done, you know, and, and like, you know, and that was it. I didn't like, you know, take any pleasure in like, you know, doing that to him. I mean, as a human being, he's out there just trying to, you know, get it done like me too, you know. And that's it, you know. We just, <clears throat> we just, uh, we we set a lot of differences already, you know. It was it was a great sport in there, you know. I respect him a lot. But considering, you know, the 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 time off and and how your last fight went. I would imagine getting a clean, quick victory like that had to feel like, okay, now I'm back on track. There's a weight lifted. I can move on with my career, right? Definitely. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, you know, that I put that past me, you know, and like a, a lot of the, like, you know, the pressure that comes with that, obviously, like you're talking about, you know, you're coming off of a loss, you want to redeem that. And like, you know, I'm glad that it was uh, able to be done in that fashion against that kind of opponent. You know, he's a dangerous guy. Do you feel like now you can officially move on from the Rockhold fight, like, or, or, or do you feel do you feel like you were over it long before this fight happened? Did you need to have a fight and, and a nice victory to move on, or were you able to put it behind you, um, even even leading up to this fight? No, I put it behind me, man. I mean, it was like you know, it, you know, we had we had our chance. I had my chance to, to to do what I had to do inside the cage, and and I, and, I, and it didn't go my way, you know. And you know, I learned a lot from that loss. You know, so, you know, it's, it's time for me to move on. You know, if, 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 if the future, you know, holds for me to, you know, cross those paths again, then that's something different. But I'm thinking forward right now. Uh, what you, you said you learned a lot from that fight. What would you say is the biggest lesson that you learned from it? I mean, it was just a lot, you know, for me as a person, you know, just, uh, you know, a lot of things, you know, technically that I was doing wrong inside of the, the cage, you know, that we fixed up, you know, me and my team, we looked at. You know, and, you know, just fix a lot of bad habits, you know, and just, you know, hustle a little harder in certain areas and do things a little smarter. Do you feel like now getting a victory like this, especially so early in a fight, uh, will will get people off your back as far as the decisions are concerned? I mean, I guess, you know, it was just, you know, you got to go in there and, and do your job, you know, and it was just like a, it was an urgency to do it, you know, because... He's a tough guy. Those uh, those kicks were adding up, you know, and I didn't want it to be a lingering fight, you know, and, and you know where I can't, where I have my 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 movement, you know, limited and restricted. So I had to like go and press the button, you know. How does your leg feel on this Monday? It feels better now. I mean, I'm walking around normal, but that night it hurt, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He is a strong guy. There's no doubt about it. Although, you know, like going from a rock hole to him, like, did you did you sense a difference in, in the level of opponent? Or do you think he's someone who, you know, maybe doesn't have the, the wins and the, the resume that rock hole does, but still just as tough? Oh, yeah, man, just as tough. You know, he's like coming out there hard, you know, just different different things. You know, obviously, we don't have to worry about such a grapple heavy, you know, kind of neutralizing style, you know, that's that, that would like offset my, my grappling a little bit, you know, and like, you know, kind of, you know, hold it at bay. You know, we I, I don't have that kind of advantage with him, but he's got the strikes. He's real strong. He's explosive, you know, good footwork, you know. So he's coming off four knockouts, so, you know. You're, you're usually in, like an even keel kind of guy, but I don't sense, like, I feel like if I was talking to you after a loss, you'd sound the same way. Like, you don't sound overly excited over what you accomplished on Saturday. Why is that? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about, you know, what happened, like as far as me getting the job done and executing our game plan, you know, that's what really made me more happy than anything, you know, just working with my team, you know, Jamal Patterson, Gary St. Ledger, Jerry Rinaldi, and, you know, John Rosales, you know, we all put our, our heads in together with, along with a bunch of other people. And, you know, we just kept that a certain game plan and we worked at it, worked at it, and we were able to execute it. And so that, that I, you know, I find a lot of joy in that, you know. You were supposed to fight back in February against Yoel Romero. Um, and of course, there was the whole, um, you know, shuffling of the deck because of the Whitaker injury. And I think a lot of people actually gained an even, you know, greater level of respect for you because you're coming off the Rockwell fight and you say, give me Romero, who's, you know, one of the toughest guys, regardless of division. Why did you want to bounce back from the Rockhold fight against someone like Romero? Because he's a 
savage, you know, and like, you know, I wanted to test myself. I want to test myself against the best people. And at the time, you know, that's the person that I chose to fight, you know, next. And, and they obliged it, you know, and they made it happen, you know, so it was just like, you know, and, you know, he, he had the, you know, I, I, you know, Whitaker got hurt and he's in that position to where he's going to, you know, go up above and, and I respect it. And, you know, everything happens for a reason, I guess, you know, and I'm, I'm here right now. Were you upset when you didn't get the fight? I mean, you know, I was preparing the fight. I was a little disappointed. I wouldn't say I was upset. You know, I was just like, you know, it's just one of those things to where you didn't expect something like that to happen when you already fixed your mind for something, you know, and then it just changes. So it was one of those things, you know. And and, and then what did you think of his performance? Like, did that make you want to fight him even more after you saw what he did to Luke Rockhold? I mean, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was scheduled to fight the guy already. You know, it didn't happen. You know, it didn't make me want to fight him more or less. I know what the guy's capable of. I mean, that's what he's been doing to people. That's what he's capable of doing to people, Ariel. Yeah. Go in there and beat the living hell out of somebody. You know what I mean? And it looks really freaking scary, right? Yes. It does. You know? Okay, yeah. And, you know, you got to understand that. If that's what you have to do and that's the kind of competition that you have to go against, then if it makes you afraid, then you shouldn't be in it because you're never going to be able to rise to the occasion against somebody like that. But if you see somebody like that and it's a part of you that it, 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 it makes you nervous because that's, that's human energy. You know, you're going to get nervous from something like that. But if it's a part of you that, that wants to go against the wave like that, you know, then that's the part of you that's a warrior and you have to respond to that. You know, that's the part of you that lets, lets you know that you're alive, you know? I, no, I get, I mean, I don't actually and if, know. And if you're in, and if you're in this business, you know, if you're in this business, I'm just, just speaking as a fighter. You know, if you're yeah. in this business, then you understand what I'm talking about, you know? Yep, yep. And, and, yep. and, and, you, and you're going to go and you're going you, to you'll, you'll answer the bell, you know? And that's what we do. So well, I don't why need did... any special treatment for wanting to fight him or not. You know, he, he went his way, I went mine, you know? Why, why did they keep you on the sidelines, though? Like, why didn't you fight in February against someone else? Why did it take two months to get you back in there if you weren't the one who had to move out of the fight? It just wasn't in the cards for me to fight, I guess. You know, I had to wait. And see what was happening, you know. And when it was my turn, I answered the bell and I did what I did last Saturday. Did, were, were you compensated for having to sit out? What do you mean compensated? Well, I mean you were you were preparing to fight, and, and the fight was pulled like two weeks um, before, but then you didn't get a fight, and you have to wait two months. Running, to fight. I, I was busy. I was busy running my academy, you know. Okay. I had to take care of that stuff, you know. I had I had a lot of stuff going on, you know, and it was just. Uh, a time where it, it allowed me to like do a lot of other things that I had to do already. I was a real, I was real busy at the time, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I was able to focus on those things and then get back to fighting again. So this this worked out. You you have no complaints. No. How soon do you want to get back in there? I mean, I'd say maybe August, of you know late August, you know early September. Do you, do you have an opponent Something in like mind? That. If someone who tickles your fancy? I mean, I don't have anybody that tickles my fancy right now. You know, it's just, I'd like to move forward. I think, I hope that like, you know, my, my performance from last Saturday was enough to, you know, allow me to climb. And, you know, I know the, the, the Jacare and, you know, Kevin Gaston and those guys are fighting, you know, I'd like to maybe look at the guy, you know, who, who's maybe, you know, not on the winning end of that, you know, because they'll still be ranked ahead of me. And it'll be a chance for me to climb. If not, you know, I'll just have to see what my management says and the UFC says, you know, and that, and that that'll be it. Um, and we'll move forward from there. That would be interesting. Although if you fight, if it's Gaslam, then you would be fighting a fellow dominance MMA guy. So I don't know if Ali would be pushing for something like that. Yeah, I have to see what they say about that. You know, I don't know. We'll see. It's amazing. So on this Monday, how do you, how do you come down from the high? What are you doing to just relax? Well, I got a lot of errands to run and, you know, I got to go teach at my school and then that's it, you know, just back to a normal day, you know, get back to training, lift, get on, you know, wait, you know, lift some weights a little bit. What? Weights. No time off for you, huh? <laughs> no, I got to get back to work. All right. Back, you know. Well, you may not be excited about the victory. The rest of us were. It was a great victory. I think you should enjoy it. Let loose. Go out. Have fun. Yeah, I, I did. I did. You know, you know, I got to. You know, and, and spurts, you know, you got to do it in spurts. When you, when you got a family and stuff like that, Ariel, you know, you got, you got things to do. You got to move forward, you know? You I feel fun, it. You know, you enjoy the spurts and then you keep going. You got a lot of things to do. 
Congratulations, David. Great performance. Good to see you back on track, and especially with a, a, a victory like that, an emphatic victory, an exclamation point. Uh, great stuff on Saturday. Thank you, Harold.